back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again, and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I'm going to be doing two centerpieces, one little and one big. <laughs> two lantern centerpieces, but one little and one big. One simple, one not so simple. So I'm gonna give you both ends of the spectrum today. Anyway, let me get my camera turner, turned here and I will explain to you what we're doing with these little lantern centerpieces. All right, let me get situated, I'll be right back. Okay, the first one I'm going to do is this one. For those that have been with me for a long time, you guys are gonna recognize this tray. This was my mom's tray that she told me they used at their wedding reception. So this tray is very special. It is a silver tray. I did clean it before I decorated it for fall and it looks pretty good still. So I'm not, it's not too tarnished. So I'm going to go with it here for Christmas like this. So this is just a little white lantern I got from, I don't even know, Hobby Lobby. I got it from Hobby Lobby. I don't know how much it was. It doesn't save. Just a little white lantern. Very small, probably what, maybe 12 inches tall, if that, 10 to 12 inches tall. And then I have this little angel. I don't remember where I got this. Maybe and that. I can't remember. I got them last year. No, I think it was Tuesday morning I got these. And our Tuesday morning is closed now. So anyway, again, I'm going to make this very simply and by design because I want to see this tray. I want this tray to be the star of the show, so to speak. Uh, but I do want to bling it up for Christmas, so here we go. This is just a little blue candle. It's an LED candle. You can barely see that it's lit. It is blue. And this little centerpiece is going to go in on my grandmother's little coffee table that sits very close to the blue tree. So we are going to put a blue candle in there and have that angel right there. And then I bought two of these. And I have a larger one that's gonna be sitting on my secretary, and I can't remember if this was part of a set of two or not. I don't highly recommend this because they, I mean, the batteries last for a while, but it doesn't have a timer. And so you have to turn it on and off, you know. And, you know, I just usually leave it on until the batteries go dead and then just replace the batteries. And I think they take like 1632, maybe those kind of batteries. I tell you, Chris bought them in bulk. If I can remember, I'll ask him for the link and I'll get them in my Amazon shop. If you guys ever look at, you know, you use 2032s for things and I think these were 1632s, I think. But anyway, I just want to set that right in the middle there. And look at this. This is dining room. I have a dining room lantern. That's what I had in there the year before. And then I had inside decor for the dining room lantern before. Then last year I said, no, this is the silver tray. This Ziploc bag has been used for three years, you guys. <laughs> I am frugal in some ways. I also have this little uh, half of a cloche here. Uh, the other half, well, it broke. I dropped it. So I thought I might just put the little white bird up there, something like that. So let's see what I have here. And just some, of course, glittery for, uh, florals what else but some more glitter hey, i got glitter in my eye the other night i was telling amanda via messenger i got it in my eye and man oh man did that hurt that really stung and just bugged me all afternoon and evening so anyway i'm just going to uh make a little pile of these and i really don't know if i want all this this year i just kind of want You know, maybe one blue one. I really don't want, I had like three on it last year, my goodness. Maybe because I wanted to hide the, that's probably why. I wanted to hide the, well, there we go, that'll work. I wanted to hide the stems. Well, it looks pretty. I have these white ones, but I don't know. Here 
I am. Oh, I had a lot more last year. I don't know that I'll want to use all that this year. I'm going to look at me go. There we go. Just a very simple little silver tray. I can see the tray here and up here and in the back. And this does sit on a coffee table, but it points out into the room. So it's gonna be pretty in there. So there we go, that's our first one. Now let's put, I'm gonna save this because I'm gonna to try to remember to pack it back up into this bag. We'll see. All right, let me set this back here. Now for the big lantern. I have decided I'm gonna leave my lantern on this Lazy Susan that Chris made me. Look at this, this is all the stuff. Dining room, centerpiece. I have forgot my lights. I need to go out in the garage and get my lights. Dining room, lantern, centerpiece. Dining room, lantern, inside decor. That means inside the lantern. There's how I'm gonna anchor my corners, which I will explain. It's been a while since I've made a uh, lantern centerpiece online. And this is the topper, the bow topper. So let me run outside. I've gotta go get my really old LED uh, fairy lights. Well, they're not fairy lights, they're just well, you'll see. Let me go get them. Okie dokie, you guys. Oh, you know, you think you have everything, and then you don't. I need to clean the inside of this tray. All right. Now, while I'm doing this, let me explain how I do my lantern centerpieces. I've done them like this for years and years and years, way before I got on YouTube, using that spray way that Liz put us all on too over there at Traditions by the Season. This stuff is great and you can get it for a song in Walmart. So what I have here, this is a, let me show you first, a Lazy Susan that Chris made for me. And he made it to be the color of the wood in here and it matches our floors. It is just beautiful and it is heavy as all get out. And I just make my, well, this one anyway, this lantern centerpiece on this Lazy Susan. Well, I started making them on them and then I just leave it on the Lazy Susan. But you can see this tray is just a little bit too big for the Lazy Susan. So Chris made me and gave me a piece of wood so that I could just set the tray down on the wood. See that? And it's about centered, I hope. So Chris made the Lazy Susan. He gave me a piece of wood to put the tray on. I got the tray at Hobby Lobby years ago. Many years ago, it came with a set, of, it came in a set of three. And uh, I haven't seen it in Hobby Lobby at all in at least in over a year. But you can sure use these ideas and, and use your own, you know, accent pieces or trays or lanterns. Now, first thing we wanna do is we wanna put our lantern, this lantern, I have two of these as you all probably know, and this looks like it, it's a little bit of TLC too. Uh, one I got over in Harrisonburg, Virginia at a store called Country Treasures, and the other one I got right here in Fredericksburg at Dottie's Den, a little uh, store called Dottie's Den. Dottie's has not had this since. I've never been able to find this online, y'all, anywhere. So I will tell you it is 20 inches tall by 10 by 10 by 10 by 10. So it is a dirty big lantern and it does make a pretty big statement on this table here. If I was gonna be quote unquote known for something here on YouTube, I would say it would be my lantern centerpieces and my funky bow toppers that I make to go on them. 
but they're one of my favorite things to make. And I haven't made one in a long time, to be honest with you. So here we go. Okay, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna put a little candle holder inside the lantern. And this just only serves to lift my candle up. Normally with these, I use a nine by four inch candle, luminaire candle. But for Christmas, I use these, this little, snow globe candle. Isn't that pretty? So I don't rig this up. We just kind of just switch batteries out when we need to. This you can, these you can put on a timer. So they will come on every evening and go and, you know, swirl around for six hours and then go off. And they last maybe a month, maybe. Uh, I'll have to replace them like before Christmas, before people come over for Christmas, but it should still be running nicely for Thanksgiving if I just let it, you know, It'll come on at this time of day since that's when I've set it up. So I don't do too much inside. Let me find my inside the lantern decor and see what I did here. Okay. Looks like. I just have some silver. This is just looks like it's a hodgepodge of this, that, and the other thing, doesn't it? And honestly, when I get this whole thing made, you're not even gonna hardly be able to see the inside of the lantern. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the... Ornaments in first. Just wanted to, you to be able to look in there and see a little something, something, you know? And that's all I do. And then let me make sure I have that centered. And there, that's pretty, pretty nicely centered. All right, now. lantern is getting old. <laughs> Not one to shut. There we go. Okay. Now I want to make sure that the lantern is centered on my tray here. That's an important step. If it's met, you know, I usually will measure, but I'm not going to get back up and get my measuring tape. I think I'm pretty, pretty close to center there. Centered side to side and front to back, because now we're going to start building our lower decor around this lantern, okay? So the first thing I wanna do is I, uh, this is an old Pipberry garland that I've had for years, and I, it's just like a silver. And this I'm just gonna put on as kind of a base. It's just gonna kind of give me something, you know, on which to build the rest of the decor. If I don't put something down like this and fluff it out a little bit, then the rest of the, the decor tends to sink down too low in the tray. So I like to have something like this so that I can build, build on it. And this will peek through, you know, too. You can tell I've used this for this just this purpose before. In fact, I probably haven't used it since last year. I probably didn't, I went got this out of the garage. I probably didn't pack it away thinking I might use it for something else, but I don't think I have through this year. 
So anyway, this also has pretty silver stars on it. I think I got this at the end of a season from the Pipberry Barn. I know I got it from the pipberrybarn.com. Anyway, I'm just taking the time to fluff it up and make it look big and flouncy. Okay, the next thing I wanna put on is are these lights. Now, these are some spiffy lights. I am really just kidding. These are decrepit and old and ridiculous. These were some of the very first LED lights to come out. Now, if you wanted to mimic this or make your decor kind of look like this, I would encourage you, like I when I buy my LED lights from like Amazon or whatever, I'll buy like the warm white lights. If you want to, uh, you know, mimic this design, then buy the cool lights. And that will give you these put off a blue hue. They are super pretty once I get them unfurled here. And they put off a beautiful light blue glow. And they are just lovely. And I will be so sad when they stop working. I will be on the search for some that match. I have used these probably on my land, I don't even know, four or five years now in some capacity or another. Like I say, these were kind of the first, one of some of the first battery operated like little mini lights like this. This has like three stems, <laughs> I think. There we go. There's one, two, and three. All right. Oh, let's see, aren't these attractive? Look at this. <laughs> Trust me, you're not gonna be able to see all this stuff when I get it all done. Just only the lights. Okay, and then I just snug these down and let them kind of go where they will, you know? I have to follow the board. And look at that, they fit. I think I've done this before. <laughs> they fit all the way around. The brown cord goes underneath. And I just snug the battery pack. This battery pack does have, I don't have my glasses, I do have my glasses. I think it has a timer. So I'll just put them on timer here and they'll, yep, yeah, they'll come on about the same time like the candle does. I'm just going to snug them down right up in the front there so I know where where the box is. All right, now, trust me, they will behave themselves and will be really pretty in the end. Just like wrestling a snake, though. Okay. All right, now, next thing, remember I mentioned anchoring my corners? Well, I don't know where I ever came up with that idea, but to my eye, I always like to have something in each corner of my design. So for this one, I have four white ornaments. I'll show you in a second here. I tell you, I haven't put this together since last Christmas, so I'm just kind of winging it here. Hopefully I'm gonna do it similar to how I did it last year. But one of these says, peace. One says joy. I, so I have two that, says, that say peace and two, well, no, one that says joy and one that says Noel. So anyway, we'll put the piece at opposing corners and I literally just set them, set them down in each corner. And 
And for whatever reason, it makes me feel better that I have something in my corners like that. Okay, now I have a couple of very old florals here. These are very old poinsettias. I've got four of them. So I need to kind of fluff them out a little bit. And one goes in the front. One goes, on, one goes in the front, one goes in the back, and one goes on either side. So let me get these in. I'm gonna start speeding through probably some of this. I don't wanna bore you guys. Okay, just remembered I bought the, I had these silver leaves, and I believe I had one in each corner at least. I think I've got 10 of these, so we'll see. So there we go. Now, <laughs> I have even more. I have some of these pretty icy blue uh, These are just ornaments, y'all. And I'm just going to put them at each corner, I think. Kind of like that. And got two more. Not sure how I had them. But I don't really think I need more than that this year. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave those two out. Alright, and then the only thing I have left is just some pretty blue berries with white or silver leaves. I'm just going to start sticking them in here and there. I don't even remember where I got these. I wish I could find more though, honestly. So there we go. That, my friends, will do the bottom decor around this lantern. Isn't it pretty? It's just, I love it. I always love this so much. Now, what we do to finish it off is we put our bow topper on it. So let me find the front. And I'm gonna put you up a little bit and turn you that way. And honestly, I don't even have to tie it on because I didn't even untie it last year when I took it off. Uh, look, I just have, I just slid it off with the same. I'm gonna see if I can slide it back on. There we go. This is why, if y'all will remember, for those of you who are with me the day that I thought I wanted to, uh, use that other table runner. Remember I said I had that dark blue table runner? And I, I just decided not to because I love this centerpiece so much. I love this funky bow topper. It's not an over the top topper, really. It's not a huge bow. I think it might just be a nine, in, nine loop funky bow. But I used the same ribbon that I used in the little tree over there that you can see in the kind of in the corner. I used the same ribbon. 
or two of the same ribbons. I used the same elements in the, in the bow topper as I did down around the bottom, save for the big white poinsettias. But I used, you know, a couple of the same ornaments and some of the leaves and some of the shiny blue, little blue or, or little blue tufts, wherever I got those. And it, it's, you know, this is one of my, actually one of my very favorite designs that I've ever created, y'all, honestly. And I just don't, I'm not ready to retire it yet. It, it's, and I don't know when I will be ready to retire it because it's just, it's one of my favorites and it's one of the prettiest, I think. I mean, I don't wanna say that about my own stuff, but I think it's one of the prettiest I've ever done. And with a little tweaking, a little, and a little fluffing, it's just as pretty this year as it was last year, you know? And this has been in a bin since last, whenever I took it down last year. So there we go. I think it looks super pretty. All righty. All right, I'm gonna come back here and do some final words. And uh, then I'm gonna put this, get Chris to come help me because he'll need to lift this onto the floor while I put my tablecloth on. You can see my tablecloth is hanging right there on the chair. That's the same tablecloth I've been using for years and years. It's just uh, holly leaves only they're just it's a it's a cream to white whitish cream tablecloth with silver on it and it's super pretty super pretty so all right let me go into some final words and then i'll come back and i'll show you the whole table uh put together and then i'll show you where this this little uh, centerpiece lands although i'm not going to show you much else in there because I do want some things to be a surprise for the home tour, you know? I gotta have some surprises. You guys are gonna know everything, pretty much. I don't like to make you wait or anything, but you know, I do like to surprise you now and again. <laughs> so let me go into my final words and say, I hope that all is well with everyone. And for those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around. And I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. Come on back and I'll show you how this looks all put together. I'm gonna put these, the centerpiece is gonna be flanked by those two big trees there. And uh, the candlesticks that you might be able to see back there in the distance. And a couple of deer that you may be able to see sitting there, silver deer. So it's gonna look super pretty, hopefully. <laughs> so come back in a little bit and I'll show you everything. It'll be like the snap of a finger for you guys. Okay, love y'all, bye-bye. <laughs>